Success requires that you stare into the eyes of the things that make you feel uncomfortable. You have to learn how to master that fear. Every time that it arises on the inside of you, you've got to reach in there and pull it out and place it on your opponent, on the obstacle or the challenge that you're facing. Every time that fear knocks, you answer the door with faith. For the Lord did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. You either master that fear, or that fear is going to master you. Because every time you give in to that fear, a piece of your life dies. So I want you to make a decision right here and right now. Draw a line in the sand and say, I will not live this way. Fear cannot have me anymore. Nelson Mandela said, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. Now I will say it again. To go to the next level, you must boldly and aggressively attack the things that scare you. You must learn to look at that fear in the eye. And the things that make you feel uncomfortable and say, so what? You will not stand in the way of my greatness. Every time fear shows its face, you grab it by its neck and you choke the life out of it. Stop letting false evidence appearing real destroy your dreams. Fear is just faith in reverse. Arise, champion. And go out and live the life you were meant to live. The moment you start to hesitate, you got to attack it. The moment that fear whispers in your ear, you got to smash it. To go to the next level, you must stare into the eyes of the things that make you feel uncomfortable. Your future is too important to be held hostage by fear. Get out of the stands. Get out of that comfort zone and move toward the edge. Walk all the way out there to the ledge and jump. God made you a conqueror. Now go out into the world and conquer. Champions master their fears. That's why we call them champions. To be successful, you're going to have to learn how to stare into the eyes of the things that scare you and make you feel uncomfortable and say, so what? The number one reason people fail is broken focus. You got to keep your mind on your dreams. Stay focused. Your eyes on the prize. Focus. Stop worrying about what everybody else is saying or doing. Get up every morning and grind. Every moment that you're worried grind. about the opinions of others is a second grind. that you're losing. Stop talking and let your grind be your response. Grind. As a man thinketh in his heart. Grind. So is he every second of the day I think and do what it takes to be a champ. Stay focused. I refuse to be distracted by things that don't move me toward my dream. Many people can handle the physical aspect of the game. It's that mental part that separates the champions from everyone else. You see, each level that you go up, you start out in peewee. Then you move to middle school, then high school, and then D1, and then to the pros. Each level you climb, the distractions will increase. Greatness is about execution. What separates the average players from the legends is the legends can consistently, no matter what is going on around them, can find that focus on the inside and consistently deliver. There's a lot of you out there listening to me right now. And I want to say this to you. You have the talent. But to go to that next level, the thing that everything hinges on is whether you can master your mind or not. That's the key. You've got to master your mind. You've got to stay focused. Block out the chatter. Put on the blinders and keep your eyes on the prize. Stop listening to the critics. Their opinion does not determine your destiny. What does is your work ethic, your grind, your focus, 
your determination, your faith, your perseverance, and that will that says, I am a champion. Stay focused and execute. The more overwhelmed you feel, the more complicated things seem to be, the more you must break it down into small, manageable pieces. Whenever you get lost, whenever you face a setback, the thing to do is to go back to basics. You take it one thought at a time, one play at a time, one rep at a time, one set at a time, one day at a time. Success is a marathon of consistency walked out one day at a time. Allocate every second, every minute of your day to your dream. They say it takes 10,000 hours of practice to achieve mastery in any given field. 20,000 to be a legend. General George Patton said, you must be single-minded. Drive for the one thing that you have decided. What do you want in life? What separates champions from the rest is how they respond when life sucker punches them in the face. They never consider laying down. They get up. They arise because they're champions. They find a way to regroup. They find a way to refocus. They keep their eyes on the goal and they execute. Stay focused is the million dollar question. What are you going to do today to improve your life? Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Julio Jones, Tom Brady, Michael Phelps. These guys can stay focused when the lights come on. The critics, the news, the scandals, the rumors, it doesn't matter. They still perform. Let thine eyes look right on. And let thy eyelids look straight before thee. Stay focused. A disciplined mind rooted in truth can do the impossible. Whether it's business, arts, music, writing, film, sports, whatever it is. There's truth, principles that govern the laws of success in every field. Massive success requires massive focus. You gotta focus on these things, the things that really matter. You gotta practice them over and over until you can do them when the lights come on. Our lives are the fruit of our most consistent thought patterns. It's all connected. Everything you do is filtered through your belief system. When you change your mindset, everything else in your life will change as well. Being a champion isn't just about the trophies. It's a winning mindset that you feel to every aspect of your life through. You don't want to be just a champion on the field or on the court or in the weight room. You want to be a champion in your finances, in your relationships, in your business, in your art, in your music. Whatever you do, it's the same mindset. Different fields might have different techniques to be successful, but the one thing that is consistent is the mindset. It doesn't matter the field. Champions speak the same language. They understand each other. Successful people filter every aspect of their life through empowering belief systems. Every minute of your time should be harnessed, leveraged, and held accountable to your success. The one thing that your future hinges on is your level of focus. Can you stay focused long enough to let that greatness on the inside of you shine? Bonafide success can only be obtained through genuine expression of the truth. So be aware at all times of the war that is raging over your identity. See, society will try to conform you, try to break you, and most of all, label you. The battleground is over self, and you are under siege. Don't join the army of clones. Be yourself. Take off the mask and let the world bask in the beauty of an original. Be your own star on the stage of life. Accept inside that you are good enough and worthy enough to be loved for the person you really are. Champions live every day in the boldness of being themselves. You were never meant to be a carbon copy of anyone. God strategically designed you for greatness. Life is your canvas. Grab the paintbrush and express yourself. When you can show the world who you really are, without any reluctance, without any fear, and without needing people to accept or validate you, only then can you truly be the artist 
You were created to be. Stop chasing the trends. The 1% didn't become the 1% by chasing the other 99%. They went their own way. They made their own path. They searched inside and found themselves. If you want to be successful, stay in your lane. You got to do you. Stop chasing the world. Awaken to yourself and the world will come chase you. All that you want, crave, and desire inside can be found in your own uniqueness. Stop chasing other people's dreams. Stop running from yourself. Quit being the person that other people want you to be and start living the life God planned for you. It's impossible to consistently do the things it takes to become successful when you're not being true to who you really are. To fully walk through the door of victory, you must be in your assigned calling. When you stay in your own lane and build around the strengths God gave you, you will begin to attract massive success. That's the key. The key is you already have the inside of you. What you're looking for, you already have. Listen to me. Just because you admire somebody else's talent or their greatness does not mean that you were anointed to do what they do. You were designed to do you. You see, refusing to accept the role that you have been assigned leads to internal conflict. I think one of the biggest problems in the world is everybody's out of position. They've adopted other people's dreams, other people's destinies. And when you're not in your calling, all you're going to have in your life is chaos. You're going to have struggle because you're going against the grain. You're not doing what the manufacturer, God, made you to do. This misalignment will cause strife and all types of disorder in your life. So honesty is the first step to bringing your spirit back into harmony. Being real translates into inner peace and sound mental health. When you're comfortable in your own skin, your relationships with others will flourish. There's nothing more beautiful, more powerful, and more seductive than a person comfortable in their own skin. Be you. Stay in your lane. Everything I teach is rooted in the word. Psalms 139.14 says, I will give thanks to you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works and my soul knows it very well. Stay in your lane. You're beautiful. When you are anchored in grace, rooted in purpose, and aggressively pursuing your calling, you are blessed and unstoppable. I am bold because I know I'm in my calling. I know the anointing is behind me. Nothing can stop me. Arise, champion. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. My calling is to speak life over the future champions of the world. To be successful, you must seize and conquer every moment, every opportunity that presents itself. Grab it with both hands and refuse to let it go. Tomorrow's not promised. So you don't know if you're going to get a second chance at this. So you better squeeze every ounce of victory out of every single moment God gives you. Prepare for the moment. You got to become a workout warrior. Your time is now. You've got a choice. Either let the day own you or you own it. See, the world has told you a lie. You think success is luck. You think somebody else has to put you on. You think you got to have all these connections to go where you want to go. But I'm here to set the truth straight. You determine your outcome. What you do every day, your work ethic pledges your allegiance to either failure or success. You determine where you go. Stop waiting for other people to put you on and put yourself on. Stop making excuses. Every day that you don't give your all, you do the world an injustice. Stop absorbing life 
and start projecting it. When you are anchored in grace, rooted in purpose, and aggressively pursuing your calling, you are blessed and unstoppable. There's nothing that makes me sicker than seeing somebody waste their gift. Now, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but sometimes I got to get up in your face with the truth. See, denial will continue to hold you hostage until you take responsibility for your actions. Ignoring the facts will not improve your circumstances. Truth is the chiropractor of the mind. Right thinking sustained long enough will produce success. I think like a champion. I speak like a champion. And I walk it out because I am a champion. What I'm telling you is straight out of the word. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God and what is good and acceptable and perfect. The word always confirms itself. So I'm going to give you another one. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now that's the mindset of a champion. That's my message. God still moves. I am the messenger of hope. Do not give up on your dreams. Your best Days are ahead of you. There's a lot of you out there listening to me right now that are warriors. You just haven't awoken yet. And guess what? I'm here ringing the alarm. Arise! Awaken, warrior! Anchored in grace. Rooted in purpose. Pursue your calling. Never give up. Blessed and unstoppable. Less than unstoppable. Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. And my new book, Less Than Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal. From living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen. New doors of opportunity will open. And favor will begin to chase you down. Less Than Unstoppable is a 31-day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Blessed and Unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at blessedunstoppable.com. Also available on Amazon.